Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Technia TV. This is Arun Bhatia from the Department of Management. Uh, today, I'm going to deliver a lecture on uh, the seven marketing mix, which are the seven P's of marketing. Students, as we have already read in the marketing uh, uh, management uh, course, that there are four P's, namely the uh, product, price, place, and promotion. Now, in contrast to these four P's, the service marketing has seven P's. Simply put, these, uh, seven, the service marketing mix assumes the service as a product itself. However, the service marketing adds three more P's which are required for optimum service delivery. Now, as far as the service marketing is concerned, the services, all services are, are tied up to a particular product. Uh, you really, really can't, you know, uh, separate a service from a product. Few services are available, which are, of course, they, in which there are no products which are attached to it, like consultancy, like agency. Over here, we are not dealing with any product, but we are offering our services. Now, the extended service marketing mix, it places three further P's, which include people, process, and physical evidence for optimum service delivery. Why? Because without the help of the uh, people, the services cannot be provided. Now I'm going to touch upon all these uh, additional, uh, all these uh, seven P's one by one. The first one is product. Now what is the product? The product in service marketing mix is intangible in nature. That means you really can't touch those products in the case of service marketing. Like physical products with which you can have a physical contact such as a soap or a detergent service, products cannot be measured. Tourism industry or the education industry are an ex excellent example as far as the service marketings are concerned. Because over here we are not dealing with any kind of products, we are offering services. But yes, when it comes to tourism industry per se, when we talk about this kind of industry, even though we would be using you know certain products like buses for transport, uh, places that we visit, we are going to go over there. But the services which are going to be provided, that is the main thing behind it. At the same time, service products are heterogeneous, perishable and cannot be owned. The service product thus has to be designed with good care. Generally, service uh, blueprinting is done to define the service product. For example, a restaurant blueprint will be prepared before establishing a restaurant business. This service blueprint defines exactly how the product, in this case, the restaurant is going to be. Second is place. Place in case of services determine where is the service product going to be located. For example, the best place to open up a petrol pump is on the highway or in the city. Now, these are the places where the maximum rush is going to be. You really can't have a petrol pump, a service, uh, you know, a product service, something like petrol pump be opened up in a rural area. It has to be over somewhere in the highway or in the city where the maximum number of vehicles are, you know, running. A place where there is minimum traffic is a wrong location to start a petrol pump. Similarly, a software company will be better placed in a business hub with a lot of companies nearby rather than being placed in a town or rural area. Third is promotion. Now what do we mean by promotion? Promotion is advertising. Promotions have become a critical factor in the service marketing mix. Services are easy to be duplicated and hence it is generally the uh, brand which seems which sets a service apart from its competitors. Now why? Because when we are into the service industry, there are a lot of competitors who are available. Each one of them, you know, providing a different set of services. Now to compete with them, the uh, this uh, promotion is very much essential. Why? Because we need to advertise. We find a lot of banks and telecom companies promoting themselves rigorously because Competition in this service sector is generally high and promotion is there, therefore very much necessary. Thus, banks, IT companies and dot-coms place themselves above the rest by advertising or promotions. Fourth is pricing. Pricing in the case of services is rather more difficult than in the case of products. Now when we go to a restaurant, we do not pay for the ambience, for the sitting place, for the physical infrastructure. We are paying for the food. Therefore, a restaurant owner can price people only for the food they are serving. But then, 
who will pay for the nice ambience they have built up for their customers so everything all the pricing for the food that the you know for the the amount that we pay for the food the entire cost is already built up in the price of the food who will pay for the band they have for music right so the pricing in the case of service industry it's a complete bundle as far as the ambience the infrastructure and the product is concerned therefore these elements have to be taken into consideration while costing generally service pricing involves taking into consideration labor material and overhead cost by adding a profit markup you get your final service pricing now as you would be also you know uh, could be you know opening up your own entrepreneur your own venture you could be the uh, entrepreneurs of tomorrow if when you are moving into the service marketing you know you will have all these things into consideration now service marketing adds another dimension to the marketing mix which is people people is one of the elements of service marketing mix people defines a service for an it company the software engineers defines the service because when they are providing these softwares who are managing the show it's people if you have a restaurant the chef the service staff defines you if you are into banking employees in your branch and their behavior towards customers defines you in case of service marketing people can make or break an organization so if the people are not satisfied with the list of with the you know with the kind of services that the organization is providing they can break the organization they can move on to the other competitors thus many companies nowadays are involved into especially getting their staff trained in inter interpersonal skills and customer service with a focus towards customer satisfaction good examples these days many organizations you know they are providing you know good after sales service so when you lodge a complaint let's say today if you lodge a complaint you have a you know problem with your refrigerator per se so and they they confirm that your you know that your complaint has been locked in so within next 48 hours a service engineer is going to visit you in fact it has become mandatory for many organizations to undergo accreditation to show that the staff is better than the rest so that is the aspect why people are so much so much important as far as the service marketing are concerned why because they have to be gentle they have to have good interpersonal skills they need to communicate with the customers so that you know the customers are at comfort level the sixth dimension is the process now what do we understand by process everything has a process attached to it now suppose if i want to uh, you know write uh, something with my ink pen now there is a process involved in it i need to have ink in my pen so i have to refill the ink and then write it similarly in the service service is a process in the way in which a service is delivered to the end customer now when we go to mcdonalds or you know we take the uh, services of a courier company like fedex both these companies thrive on their quick service and the reason they can do is their confidence on their processes when we go to a mcdonald it is the fast delivery you order and within 5 minutes the food is ready ready to serve when we you know go to a company when we when we try to make use of a courier company like fedex it is a fast delivery within 24 hours you are sure that your parcel would be delivered on top of it the demand of these services is that they have to deliver optimally without a loss in quality thus the process of a service company in delivering its product is of utmost importance the last element is that of a physical evidence which in the case of service marketing mix is a very important one as we know services are intangible in nature you cannot touch feel or see those services you can only experience those services however to create a better customer experience tangible elements are also delivered with the service i'll give you a small example on this now when we are traveling in an airlines now when does the set of services start even though we are paying for the airlines but it is not the airlines we don't own the airlines we are not going to own a boeing aircraft even though we have paid let's say 3500 rupees for a particular trip from delhi to let's say mumbai it is 3500 rupees but we don't own that boeing 
we are paying for these services. Now when do these services actually start? It actually starts from the click of a button. The time when you visit the website and you start booking your tickets, it is from that stage that your services start. How user friendly is your booking procedure? Okay, now the tickets are booked and the date is scheduled. You land up at the airport, let's say at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and your flight is at 5 p.m. Then the check-in counters and all those formalities, they start. Now, now when you are going through those, you know, uh, through those uh, parameters, frisking and all those things, how user friendly is the stuff? That will determine whether you're going to use that particular airlines again. Now when we move into the airlines, we are an economy people, right? And there is another customer who is traveling in a business class compartment. Now the foods and drinks are being served, you know, and things are being taken care of. But you will realize that when you are sitting, you know, squeezed, little squeezed in your economy class, the same, in the same airlines, a person sitting in the business class, he'll be, he'll ha he'll be having a full-fledged, you know, seat at his disposal. He can relax, he can, you know, pull down, pull down the seat and, you know, the air hostesses would be more, you know, gentle and they'll be serving him, giving him better services. When you land at the airport and you become a little friendly with each other and you try to, you know, share experiences, maybe your experiences would be different than that of the uh, person who has traveled in the business class. Now, he may like to travel back on the same airlines, whereas you might have a little bit of contemplation whether you're going to use the same airlines or not. Why? Because the services which were provided in that airlines by the staff, the kind of food that was being served and the rest of the things which were taken care of, whether it was as per your satisfaction or not. Take another example of a restaurant which has only chairs and tables and good food or a restaurant which has you know, uh, ambience lighting, uh, nice music along with good seating arrangement and also serves good food. Which one will you prefer? The one with the uh, nice ambience, that's a physical evidence. Because physical evidence says where you're going to have, you know, those services being delivered. Many a times a physical evidence is used as a differentiator in service marketing. Imagine a, a private hospital and a government hospital. A private hospital will have plush offices and well-dressed staff. Same cannot be said about the government hospital. So when you get, you know, when you are having some kind of an ailment, you prefer to go to a private hospital. Why? Because you are sure that you're going to get good set of services rather than, you know, going to a government hospital where things are taken for granted and maybe you will not get the kind of attention that you, be, you would be seeking for. So students, I think I was able to clarify as to, you know, how the service marketing is different from a pure marketing, you know, the marketing of products. Let me reiterate again that it is the services who, has, who have actually given rise to the products. Why? Because if I want to commute, commutation could be a service. For that, for, for that commutation purpose, many products have you know, been uh, developed, they have been produced. We have cars, you have cycles, you have buses, you have trains, you have aeroplanes, you have ships. These are the products, these are the physical products. You can sit in the airlines, you can touch the, you know, the screen, the screen which is there in the, in the airlines, you are going by ship, you can, you know, go, you can touch, feel, you know, but when you are traveling, you are, when you are using these products, it is a set of services which are, you know, which are of more importance. Now guys, for watching more videos, you are all requested, advised to subscribe to Technia TV.